Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and with iOS 18.1 coming, there will be a ton of new features added to your iPhone and especially the new Apple intelligence features. Now, fortunately, these won't be available for every user. They will be available only the, on the new iPhone 16 series and on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. But once you have updated your device, you will actually need to set up your Apple intelligence features. So in this video, I will show you guys the steps that you need to follow in order to make sure that you set up Apple intelligence the right way on your iPhone on iOS 18.1. Now, first of all, of course, what you need to do is update your device to 18.1 and you can do that simply by going to the general settings and then go to software update. Now, iOS 18.1 will be released this Monday on the RC version and then a week later on the 28th of October, it will be released to the public. If you want to wait for that, you can wait for it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can update to the beta of iOS 18.1 right now. You simply go to your beta updates, select either the public beta or the dev beta. They will be the same and you can update right now. Now, once you have updated your iPhone to the new iOS 18.1, then it's time for you to enable the Apple intelligence features. Now, when you go to your settings app, you will see now here a section that says Apple intelligence and Siri. You need to go here and this is what you will see. So you will have Apple intelligence at the top right there and a switch where you can turn it on or off. But what you need to make sure here is that you have free storage on your iPhone. Now, once I enabled this on my device, it required like three gigs of free storage because it had to download stuff. So once you have enabled it, the features won't be available at that minute. You will have to wait for the download process to actually finish. Once those files are downloaded on your device, then you can go ahead and use the Apple intelligence features. But again, you will need to have some free storage on your iPhone. Then you need to go to language right here and make sure you have selected English United States. This is basically currently the only language supported for Apple intelligence. And once you have done all that, then it's time for you to enable the Apple intelligence features and all of them as a package will be enabled by this button right here. You switch that on and now you have enabled the Apple intelligence features on your iPhone. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, which you probably will be doing, it will take you through a few different like splash screens here, just letting you know what's new with the Apple intelligence features. Now, once you have done that, then there are, of course, other things that you need to do right here. First of all, you will have here something called talk and type to Siri. Now, what Apple has done with the new Apple intelligence features is a great way to actually invoke type to Siri. So what I suggest you do, you go here and make sure that you have enabled type to Siri. Now, this will work both ways. You can either speak to Siri or you can type to Siri. When you want to speak it, of course, you can use one of the words or you can invoke it using the side button. When you want to type on the home bar here, you double tap and there you go. You will have Siri right there. So that's really amazing. So again, enable it here and you will be able to use that feature from anywhere on your iPhone, from an app or from the home screen. You double tap right there and you get the ability to ask Siri anything you want, which is really great. Now, right here, we'll also have the settings to speak to Siri. So you will have the Siri and the Hey word right there, but you can choose either of them. You can choose just the Hey word or both of them. They will both work at the same time. Or if you don't want to use any of those words, so it doesn't just turn on or like by accident, you can go ahead and turn them off completely and just use the side button. Now, once you have the Apple intelligence features turned on on your iPhone, you will also have something new here under the focus settings. So when you go to your focus settings, you will see something called reduce interruptions. Now, this is a new focus mode that will automatically be added to your device. So what it says here, intelligent breakthrough and silencing. So it uses Apple intelligence to silence things and also let things through on your iPhone, but you can of course set it up as well. So once you have this here, you can go to people here and then you can of course go to apps as well and choose from which apps and from which people you want to allow notifications. But again, 
Apple intelligence here will do its job and will allow notifications when they're really important. And then you will have also the options right here to choose to show on the lock screen or hide the notification badges or silence the notifications here. Of course, you will have one of the options while locked or always. And once you have set up everything here, you can also go under the privacy settings. So if you go to privacy and security and scroll all the way down here, you will also have Apple intelligence report. Once you go here, you will be able to enable the Apple intelligence report. So going there, you can choose 15 minutes, seven days, or if you want to turn it off, you can do that as well. But it will basically export a JSON file with the activity of Apple intelligence on your iPhone. And you can see right here, it says that this report may include personal data such, such as messages to, and texts that you have entered in the writing tools with Apple intelligence. So anytime you wanna export it, you can do that from there. So this is how you can set up Apple intelligence on your iPhone. And again, it has some amazing features. The new writing tools are amazing. The new photo tools, the cleanup, is amazing and also you will have smart replies you will have siri which now works much much better it can keep up with a conversation actually it will show you how to do things on your iphone that's amazing but if you have enabled apple intelligence on your iphone and you see that you don't have all the features that apple has talked about don't worry about it there are still features missing on ios 18.1 like the chat gpt integration with Siri, that will be an amazing feature, but it's still yet to come. Most likely it will be here with 18.2. Then also the new mail app, the Siri on-screen awareness, that will also be a big part of the Apple intelligence features. And we will have also image playground and a Genmoji as well. These are all features that are currently missing on the Apple intelligence features. But again, they will come throughout the year. Most likely a ton of them will come by the end of this year with the new Apple intelligence features that will be released with the new iOS 18.2, which by the way, most likely will go on its first beta in a couple of weeks from now. We will see what Apple is intending to do with that update, whether most of these missing features will be there or not which would be actually amazing if they are. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is how you can set up Apple intelligence on your iPhone running iOS 18.1. Again, unfortunately, these will be only on the iPhone 15 Pro series and on the new iPhone 16s. Other devices will still get some pretty cool features with 18.1, but unfortunately not the Apple intelligence features. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys on the next one.